What does this river have to do with the jet stream? If you pay attention to weather, you've likely heard meteorologists reference the jet stream and how it's positioned. The jet stream is riding high across Canada. The jet stream heads way south as well. The jet stream going to be diving down across Atlantic Canada. They make it sound important. That's because it is. First of all, what is it? It's like a river of air high up in the atmosphere. Why we don't just say stream, I'm not sure. But river seems to paint a better picture. We could also use the term highway, but I'm not sure we need this many analogies. The jet stream is located between 8 and 14 kilometers up, and it's a big player in how storms show up at our door. If we drop a stick into a fast-moving river, it moves along with the flow. That's like weather systems. They move along the jet stream across the country. And that's how you can get an Alberta clipper in Ontario. The jet stream is also great for pilots who want to get to their destination sooner rather than later. Hop on the jet stream and knock a half hour off your travel time. That's why it's a longer flight going west versus going east. The jet, that's what the cool kids call it, also has ridges and valleys. When you see it riding high over Western Canada, that's an indication of warmer, more stable air, i.e. sunshine. When you see it dipping low over the Great Lakes, you can count on cooler, more unsettled weather, like rain or snow. And if the jet stream is right over where you live, you, my friend, are on the storm track. So if someone complains about all the snow and rain you've been having, you can always blame that pesky jet stream. <laughs>